get the shaft from this angle literally horizontal to the ground. Wild exaggeration. Should you actually get the club here with an iron? No, not with a driver wedge, nothing. Wild exaggeration. It should be on like a 45 degree angle, but because he's vertical of that, he had to feel straight horizontal to get to just neutral. This is what he felt. I wanna to talk to you today about Live View Golf. Now you guys hear me say all the time that you need feedback when you're practicing. You need to know if you're actually doing what you're trying to do. And the best way to give yourself feedback ultimately is video. And not only is video the best way to give yourself feedback, but being able to see yourself simultaneously as you're doing a movement is the best form of video feedback. It's the best way I've seen to make changes in your swing and be able to correlate the differences between your feels and your reels. Live View is super easy to use and set up. Simply set it up behind or in front of you. You connect it with your iPad or phone, pop that on the ground. You can actually do your practice, see yourself as you're doing it, the best way to expedite your process. I encourage you guys to check out Live View Golf. We'll put a link in the description down below with a coupon code. Hey guys, Eric here out at the Don Law Golf Academy at the beautiful Osprey Point Golf Club in Boca Raton, Florida. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you what I think is the most exaggerated shallow drill I've ever seen that actually works well. Uh, and this one actually comes to us from Dennis Sales. Dennis is one of our CogornoGolf.com coaches. He and I coach together um, on the site along with other coaches. And uh, as we work together, we get to see each other's drills, right? Some things that I do that I might say that another coach might say different. And one of the students we were working with had what a lot of us have, which is a downswing where the shaft gets too steep and too vertical, right? And we've done a lot of videos on the importance of shallowing the downswing or getting the club more horizontal when you come down. And there's a lot of drills we do. And this is one that I think is the most exaggerated that I want to show you because inevitably there's some of us here watching this who know, hey Eric, I know my shaft gets steep. I know I'm supposed to shallow my downswing, but I haven't found a feel, I haven't exaggerated enough, I haven't heard it correctly to the point where I can actually do it. And I'm gonna show you this one in hopes that it really helps you. So if you take a normal setup here, I've got a club on the ground behind me that I'm trying to put um, about parallel to where I'm standing. So if I take my setup position here and you take your setup, I'd like you to grab a club, just a club will be fine, and put it on the ground, just kind of parallel to your um, body here, just straight horizontal, about two feet uh, behind your feet. So from here, I'm about one, two feet behind my feet. The club's just horizontal, and it could be out further, that doesn't matter much, but there's just a, a line here. And what happened, I saw the player coming, and they would make a normal swing, and they would get too steep. Now, steep being defined, if let's say we get to left arm parallel on our downswing, and you draw a line down the butt of the club, and this is our ball target line, uh, a butt of the club that points too far inside of that would be too steep. A good position, the club would point right on the line. Some players can get away with a smidge inside, but let's say right on the line or a couple inches outside. So when you record yourself, you get your um, swing to left arm parallel, you would want to get the butt of the club on or a couple inches outside. That'd be good. This player here was probably a foot inside. So their butt of the club pointed way in here. And we had gone through one exaggerated um, uh, feedback where we went from about a foot inside to maybe six inches. So we cut it in half. So we did pretty good with the drills we did, but he needed more exaggeration. And so Dennis put a stick on the ground back here and he gave him what I'm gonna show you here, finally. So he went up to the top and I saw Dennis go up like this, right? And we came down and said, hey, get the shaft from this angle literally horizontal to the ground wild exaggeration. Should you actually get the club here with an iron? No, not with a driver wedge, nothing. Wild exaggeration. It should be on like a 45 degree angle, but because he's vertical of that, he had to feel straight horizontal to get to just neutral. This is what he felt. So he went up and said, hey, do, let's do a couple reps, go up to the top of the swing, get the club literally horizontal to the ground. Now I know I'm doing this with arms and hands. I know I'm not doing this with good pivot. This is not passive. This is an active shallowing to exaggerate the downswing. Now, as he was doing it, because this player's face got a little open, and yours might too, a couple key checkpoints here. We went up to the top, get the shaft literally horizontal, feel the back of your left hand and your right palm pointing away from you towards the camera, and the club, the leading edge of the club, was straight up and down. So from the face on angle, it was straight up and down. 
It's not toe behind the heel, face wide open when I do this. The leading edge is parallel to the ground. The shaft is feeling horizontal. The back of my left hand and right palm point away from you. I mean, look how horizontal this is. When we normally look at a shaft from down the line, if you look at your spine line, like I can see my shadow, here's my spine. If I got the shaft perpendicular, here's my spine, perpendicular to my spine, that would be what we would consider like a good shallow shaft. Anything vertical of that would maybe be not quite as shallow. Perpendicular to your spine with your shaft would be like a good shallow checkpoint. So horizontal's wild. So I just wanna, I know, okay, this is manipulated, this is exaggerated. But what happened when we started hitting shots is we saw, wow, when we pull the sandwich out, just hit 50 yard shots, and he could have some contact, it's gonna be exaggerated, right, in the beginning. We saw the player go up, he got the club down to horizontal, one, down to horizontal, two, down to horizontal, three, and then he went in and felt like he was doing that same thing with a club, and he hit a shot, and it was like perfect. We looked at the, uh, when he felt that same piece, and we looked at where his shaft was at, I hit that a little bit on the heel, and we felt where his shaft was at, it was perfect, right where, right where he needed to be. The point is, and, and hit a couple where you don't care how you hit them. If you've been steep forever, you know, hitting balls at home or hit a foam with a ball, feel the shaft literally getting to this horizontal, this horizontal, and then feel that same thing, but make a motion with it and see what happens to your shaft, what happens when you do that. And if you're someone who gets way over the top, you're gonna likely need to feel that far behind. Or if you know you've been steep for months, years, etc., over exaggerate that point, lay a stick down, get it over it, record yourself and find how far you have to go. Maybe you don't have to go to horizontal. Maybe you just need to feel 45 degrees, that's fine. But don't be afraid to get it this far behind you with your arms, hands, arm rotation, etc., and learn from here when my shaft is way behind me how I get the club to impact from way back here is by turning. So I go up, horizontal, turn. Eric, isn't that a lot of arms and hands on the top? Yes. Up, horizontal, turn. That'd be the sequence I'd do. Up to the top, arms and hands horizontal, turn it to impact. See how I get the club from way behind me to impact through body rotation. That's how those pieces work up. So club behind you, add that left hip around, match those pieces up. That's the most exaggerated shallow version. Hope it helps you. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you guys like the video, do us a favor. It really helps us out. If you click that little gray like button below this video, if you go ahead and click that, that really helps us. Click that red subscribe button. Uh, all these things really help us with YouTube, get our videos out to more people. Be very thankful, it would really support our channel. If you guys did like this video, we're gonna put another card on the screen to a similar YouTube style video. Go ahead and click that and watch that. If you wanna work with me, I would love to work with you. We'll put a logo on the screen to golf.com. You can click that, it'll take you right there. Thank you guys for watching.